uh, and they spawned across the map so of course this will be much harder or it will take much longer uh, to actually find each other seems like actually Macrozer is going for an immediate expansion without even knowing if Soul Skipper is maybe here or maybe he's just going to close this we'll see right now he's going for a control form to get population for second harvester of course he's delaying his deformer a little bit but as I said maybe he's just going for the expansion uh, he might also go to underground but you have to keep in mind that there are actually neutral enemies and there are spiders in the underground protecting it so it's not the safest uh, if he takes this it's definitely much safer for him than going all the way here because then he can be attacked from two sides from the underground or if the enemy was here it would be even more dangerous but uh, of course if he goes here he won't have a second gems mine which is quite a big of disadvantage when you already invest into the expansion you want to have all the resources from that uh, but let's take a look on the soul skipper side as you can see he's building uh, this front base right next to the underground entrance blocking it with stable and arena uh, maybe he will take this expansion right after that but probably a little bit later uh, going to scout with a minion uh, going to the, to the underground first which is really interesting because of course he doesn't know if the enemy might be also here which would be probably better to check that first but he's going to underground immediately uh, of course this area is being scouted by the control form from Macrozerg which is going uh, who is going for the expansion as I mentioned uh, Soul Skipper is just finishing his arena Macrozerg of course not building a hive yet he actually doesn't even have a deformer now going for it so uh, if Soul Skipper was here he actually went for all in rush maybe he would kill Macrozerg but that's not the case uh, also so Macrozerg knows that Soul Skipper is a beast uh, and the beast rush is not that fast uh, saying have fun have fun uh, but as you can see Soul Skipper immediately going on the right location so we'll see what he's going to do here of course he finds out about the Macrozerg expansion immediately seems like he maybe wants to build a totem here we'll see and right now he's just bringing his Borons back to his base closing his base with a warrior Macrozerg of course going already with more harvester from his from his main base uh, to his expansion to maximize the potential of gathering resources here uh, he's also going with his harvester somewhere which is quite weird maybe he wants to kill the minion but as you can see he's just running away maybe he will actually build an expansion here <laughs> or on the other side that's probably the plan of Soul's Keeper. He wanted to build an expansion on the other side of the map and he was probably expecting Macrozerk to be here but now he found out that Macrozerk is here so maybe he will go for this location, we'll see. But Macrozerk's base is already pretty established, uh, already three harvesters here. Uh, also is building a third hive now producing high stingers so he should be pretty safe now. Soul's Keeper is still playing pretty defensively kinda for no reason since he knows that uh, his opponent is on the other side of the map and is playing really defensively uh, going for expansion uh, playing economy strategy uh, there is not really much reason to play this defensively with the warriors he could be harassing here uh, he could be um, keeping control of some positions maybe in the underground maybe taking two expansions at a time or something right now he's just really standing here of course he also goes for the expansion but he will have it much later losing ton of resources against Macrozerg so he cannot really win on resources anymore uh, we also see quick scouting from Macrozerk, a really good move here because he saw the minion from Soulskeeper so now he definitely wants to check uh, these two positions if he may be expanded here Soulskeeper is here still with his minion but he's not really building anything or being dangerous in any way of course he can do some slight scouting with this minion but outside of that nothing too dangerous we also see Incubator and Soul Strap at the same time from Macrozerg, so definitely trying to transfer to some more advanced units. But he already has nine uh, stingers, so that's definitely pretty easy for him. Uh, actually, I could also swap the colors so you can see them same as the overlay, but they are teal is pretty close to blue and the dark red is close to red, so I think we can keep the colors for this game. Uh, next game, you can remind me to. Uh, to of course change the colors so we have them accurate to the overlay uh, Macrozerk is of course also keeping track of the other expansions on the map uh, he knows where Soulskeeper is so I don't think he checked these two positions yet but uh, outside of that he has the full control of the map 
I don't know where the minion of Soul Skipper is. Actually, hidden right here. Uh, so see, um, sorry, Makrozek probably wants to take this expansion as well because there are gems which he will definitely need if he wants to go for some advanced units. Uh, we can probably also expect maybe some flying units from Makrozek. Uh, there are also these expansions in the mountains that are not reachable by ground, so you can definitely also take advantage of that. Finally, we see Dark Altar from Soul Skipper also trying to go for some advanced units. But as you can see, uh, Makrozek has even two or one more population right now, and he has definitely more resources and much stronger economy. So right now, Makrozek is definitely in a better position. But as you can see, Soul Skipper found out about the second expansion of Makrozek. Of course, he will just go quickly defend it, uh, or I mean, Soul Skipper will just uh, retreat his minion at this point. Even though he's still keeping him on this side of the map, I think. Makrozerk uh, should just hunt him down. Maybe he will with this one stinger. As you can see, he did some shift movement uh, movement here with his minion, so hopefully he will find him. Outside of that, as you can see, Soul Skipper is still not really playing uh, actively in any sense. He's just building his base. Doesn't really care about the fact that Makrozerk will have stronger economy by far. We see six Borons from Soulskeeper. Uh, basically zero air defense right now. So as I said, if Soulskeeper, if Macrozerg went for air uh, with Hive Guards or something, uh, Soulskeeper has literally zero units or buildings that could hit uh, the flank units. So he would be already dead. Uh, I don't see that from Macrozerg here, but actually as you can see he's going for Valkakun, so maybe he will try that. But he is also upgrading movement speeds for Hive Spitters, so that is another unit that he probably wants to produce, even though for now he has only Hive Stingers. Maybe he wants to also make a Flying Hive Stingers, not just Hive Guards, but Flying Hive Stingers to maybe harass a little bit. We also see Dimension Gate, maybe potentially some Stalkers to, uh, to blind trolls and also, um, also protect the Flying Hive Stingers or potentially Hive Guards against some anti-air, or at least against some air. Uh, we also see some upgrades for warriors, but they are still zero, zero for now. Same with Hive Stingers. Mm, only four harvesters on gold right now, so definitely not the maximum efficiency here. But we see the same thing here. Maybe he just want to go for more expansions. Now he made a fifth harvester. Uh, he's probably just redistributing them to the other expansions that he's producing. Uh, we still see that he has more population, even though ma maximum population cap is now higher on uh, Soul Skipper's side because he has more Borons, probably also wants to sacrifice them. He made three witches for that. Uh, now finally also Beast Cherry. But Makrozer should have no problem in creating few more summoners and catching up on that population with some uh, with some control forms. We also see a third expansion, so forest base in total. So now he will have double resources from Soul Skipper, which is actually uh, he has 1,000 gold, ton of population that is not really spending it at anything. And now he decided to move, but uh, of course, fortunately for Macrozerg, he has scouts everywhere, so he will know about this move immediately, and he will probably start preparing for that really quickly. Uh, he started producing some high spitters. He just needs to figure out his population really quickly. Uh, and of course, keep in mind that he's, uh, he has the same population taken basically. Uh, as Soul Skipper, but he has a ton of expansions, so a ton of that population is in Harvesters, and they of course take two population each, so this is a ton of population in economy, and uh, the army of Soul Skipper is actually probably stronger here, so keep that in mind, also um, Macrozerk has some scouts around the map, so that's also taking some population, but now he's just retreating all of them, just to gather up that strong army. If he can get his Hive Stingers on these Borons, he can kill them really quickly thanks to pike damage and that will of course uh, really uh, really destroy Soul Skipper's strategy here. He needs them for healing, he also needs them for population so he can recreate his army. Right now he's just spamming uh, spamming warriors now finally going for a, for a troll even though he already has another troll in the underground. But as you can see this is a really good position for Macrozerk really holding it here uh, and I mean, of course, Soul Skipper would go to the other side, but with those slow Borons, it would take him forever, and at that point, uh, Macrozer would probably find him, thanks to this reveal from the control form, so he also sees what's happening there. And now, this is, of course, really simple for Macrozer. 
Uh, he has a tower here, he has stun of high spitters, uh, he has the pike damage. I would actually not personally go to the underground like this. Uh, it's just waste of uh, waste of strength, but as you can see, he also has flying high stingers, so we can just drop into the backline, uh, kill the borons and trolls really easily, and uh, yeah, I mean, so Skipper is of course dead in this fight. Uh, he will probably get kited by these high spitters as well really soon. Or Macro Zerg will just not even care about Micro here, uh, just sending more units with this great economy. Uh, Soul Skipper is not even creating any new units right now. Now he's spent maybe 200 gold, but still has a ton of resources uh, that he's not really using. Now we also see Stalker from Macro Zerg finally, uh, probably also with Decay, so he can, uh, or Defile, so he can also blind the trolls. But to be honest, there is not much to blind because. Most of it died to the high stingers already. Uh, Macros I will just check this expansion in the underground just to see if uh, maybe Soul Skipper expanded there, but I will only find the spiders here. So he will kill them and maybe create his own expansion. That's of course also fine. Uh, as you can see, Soul Skipper is now trying to catch up on the resources by creating also more expansions, but uh, I mean, Macros already has them while also having pretty strong army. So. Maybe actually Soul Skipper will be able to hold this uh, to finish the totems. Then I don't think Macro Zerg will be able to push that. But he can just blind the totems with uh, the Violent. Then they won't even matter. But the Charles will be still pretty disgusting. He will need definitely some Flying High Stingers for that. But it should be no problem for him to maybe also make some Avengers. Of course he doesn't have buildings for that yet, but he will probably get to that pretty quickly. We already see the first Stalker here. We'll see if he will blind the towers. He's not doing it yet. Maybe he was focusing on something else. Actually building another expansion here. Uh, but easily Macros Rec found out about this expansion. So now we can easily destroy that since it's not protected at all. And this will probably also fall pretty soon. Macros is just producing more and more expansions. Strengthening his, uh, his economy of course. He has the movement speed buff for Hive Spitter, so he should be able to kite the warriors if he plays this right. Uh, I don't think uh, Soul Skipper went for Berries of Haste to increase the movement speed of warriors. He's just making some more upgrades for damage and armor now. So we'll, he will have 2 and 1, but Hive Spitters are already 2 and 1, so that also doesn't make any difference. Right now it's just the 3 trolls left here with 2 totems. But as you can see, actually, Stalker used his mana, so he probably already cast it. Actually, I think it was here, uh, the file, so maybe he wanted to blind the trolls. Now he doesn't have it for the totem, so we'll have to wait a little bit. But we actually see a drop from Hive Stingers here, dropping on the main, uh, main base of Soul Skipper, killing all the minions there, totally breaking the remaining part of the economy of Soul Skipper, and he eventually just, uh, just resigned. So yeah, nice first game, let's check the results. We can see the units here. 200 units produced from, from Macros Eric, but of course that's also with the Flying Hive Stingers, so it's not accurate. But we can see 58 kills, 33 losses, basically the reverted numbers on Soul Skipper's side. Uh, so this is of course really good for Macros Eric, really, really good to kill ratio, basically double the amount of kills than what he lost. And the largest army 47. Buildings, eight researches. He definitely researched uh, many upgrades for all the things that he could, and also, of course, the resources that will be the most important. We see 4,000 more gold from Macrozerk, mm, also 700 more gold, uh, 700 more gems from Macrozerk, and a little bit less wood, but none of them really spent all they got, so this was pretty reasonable amount of wood to get. So yeah, really nice game, Seven, uh, almost 17 minutes, 16 and a half, which is pretty average, what we are counting on.